What's up guys? This is ODSP. Do not dive until you have this stuff. What is going on guys? So today is Saturday, January 9th, 2021. And I decided not to go out to any rivers to do the treasure hunting or clean up because the situation of the coronavirus or COVID-19 in Thailand is not good yet, but we hope it will get better soon. And for those of you that lost your job, having a hard time or even lost your loved ones, I'm really sorry about that. Okay, so um, today what I'm going to do is to show, not show, um, to reveal some of my uh, diving gears to you guys. I hope this might help you to have more ideas about like what uh, you have to have before you go dive, not only for scuba diving, but also like snorkel, snorkeling. Okay, for the first one is wetsuit. Some of you might have seen this before, you know. And the thickness is 0.5 millimeters. So I'm not going to go to the deep detail, you know, and uh, I will put the link down below so you can go and check more details. This is not too thick. You can wear this and do snorkeling or scuba diving. Uh, they have both like short and long legs and arms, you know, short and long. You can choose what you like. But if you are the person that get cold too easy, I don't recommend this to wear to do scuba diving. Okay, if you do scuba diving and you are the one that get cold too easy, I recommend this one. This wetsuit, you know, like the thickness of this one is three millimeters so it will help you when you go down because uh, when you do scuba diving you need to go down to the bottom like 18 meters or up to 40 meters under the water and the temperature on the surface and the bottom is different and you need to be under the water like at least 30 minutes to 40 or 45 minutes and you will get cold this wetsuit uh, will help you to keep your body warm. Okay, so um, some of you guys may have a question like how this wetsuit works. I'll try to explain to you in the easiest way. So when you wear this one, this wetsuit, three millimeters, and you go down in the water. And when the water get inside the wetsuit and the water won't come out easily, it will stuck in there. And your body temperature, the warm, will make the water warm and then the, when the water warm the water will make your body warm as well next one I think you guys know what it is I think I don't have to explain a lot about this one yeah I think you guys know what it is next one is gloves I use gloves when I pick up trash and also when I do scuba diving to protect my hands from getting hurt and please remember that when you do scuba diving and you are on the bottom try not to touch any sea life with like your whole like whole hands like five fingers like that because you will destroy any sea life that you touch if you need to hold on to something use only your one finger to point that spot only that spot but anyways Try not to touch any sea life under the water and try to learn more to keep your buoyancy better. Okay, next one is a hood. And this one will keep your head warm when you are under the water. But uh, for your hearing stability, will decrease about 10 to 20%. Each person is different. When you do scuba diving, while you descend and ascend, you need to clear your ears, both sides. It might affect to someone, to somebody, but it it didn't happen. It didn't affect me um, until now. But it's good. It will keep your head warm. Okay, next one is fin. Fin. There are two types of fins. I think this one is you wear boot before you put your feet uh, in the fin. I think this one is is better. You know, it's better than another one. Because you, you can wear boot and you can lock it 
and unlock it like this. Ouch! You know, I put. And you can you can wear your boot and walk as well. But another one, you can wear fint without using boot. I used that when I was uh, diving for my first time, but it almost flipped out of my feet. So I recommend this one. Find yours. Okay, next one. You cannot dive without this one. Even even though you have those stuff that I told you before, but if you don't have this one, you cannot dive. Do you know what it is? Okay, it's a mask. Mask or a goggle. Uh, some of you can see under the water, you know, like salt water, but not everyone. So if you don't have this one, you cannot dive. But if you have a mask, it will help you. It, it will make your dive better and more wonderful and also it will help you to see see life and many wonderful things under the water if you have mask and next one this i'm not sure how to call it maybe like snorkeling tube maybe yeah but you need this when you do snorkeling so you can you know like your face down under the, like look under the water but you still breathing like that and when you do scuba diving you don't need this under the water but while you are on the surface you can use this as well it's not that expensive it's like seven dollars maybe for this one <laughs> I already forgot my another goggle another mask this one you see it so this mask has a mount on the top so I can put I can lock my camera on the top like that while I, you know, like do snorkeling or diving. Yeah, it's not expensive as well. It's like five or six dollars for this one. It's cheap and it's good. So next one is not diving gear, but it's an accessory. I think <laughs> this one. While I do treasure hunting and clean up the river, I'll put trash in here or any like treasure like glasses or something like that in here i make like many holes if you can see like you know lots of holes because like when i got it from the water the water will like you know like come out from each hole easily if i don't make holes this will contain lots of water you know, like full of water and will be like very heavy and also another one is a net bag actually I have a bigger one I have this to put trash in it before I drop it in the in a trash bag around the place that I went to clean up okay guys this is it these are my diving gears I hope that you will enjoy my video and you will learn more about something that you have ever known before if you have any comment, you can put it down below or any ideas, you can put it down below as well. And for my next video, I will do a magnet fishing video at a river nearby my house. And if you guys want to see it, please give me a thousand, one thousand thumb up for this video and I will make it. And also, if you are new here and you have no idea what you have been watching until now, my name is Audi, and this is Audi is me. I am a scuba diver and treasure hunter. I love to go out and clean up the river or the beach and to pick up trash under the water and to make our world more clean. And also if I found anything that might be important to someone such as like cameras, phones or wallet, I'll try my best to give it back to the owner. And don't be worried because like if I found something that belongs to you, I will give it back for free. I don't want anything back, I just want your smile. You know like your happiness that's enough for me okay guys thank you so much for watching my video and thank you so much for your supporting me don't forget to leave a thumb up and ring the bell on so you won't miss my new video see you guys love y'all